JJ, what do you feel to kind of get going like that? Uh, this side of the hands? Uh, it felt good. Um, you know, it was, it was fun to play. It's fun when your, your shots go in and all that stuff. Um, I think for our team, it was, it was fun too, just to compete and play really hard. Um, you know, after that first quarter, I think that that game could have gone one of two ways, and uh, we just we just kept playing, and you know, we, we got back into the third quarter and then and won, and won the game. So just just a big day for us, I think. It seemed like the second or third and fourth quarters, the energy level was a lot higher, particularly on defense. Was yeah. Anything that sparked that? No, you know, I think the defense actually got better in the second quarter. We, we had a terrible first quarter of defense. Uh, a lot of it was just weak side pull-ins, and then we, um, we just got better in the second quarter. Third quarter was great. One of our best probably defensive quarters of the year, including preseason. I think we had them to 17. Is that right? Yeah, 17. So, uh, And then down the stretch, I mean, Lillard, Lillard made some great plays, but other than that, we, we, we played great deep in the fourth, too. Given the way the season started for you, did you figure a game like this for you was on the horizon? The shooting. Yeah, I'm a believer in, in just the law of averages, kind of all balancing out. So um, it's frustrating to uh, be in the middle of a, a shooting slump where you, you know, shots aren't going in. Um, but I'm a positive person, and I always my, my glass is always half full. So I knew eventually I'd make some shots. Um, something I've done my whole career. Um, so, you know, I, I'll, I'll have an 11 for 13 game or whatever it was, and and then at some point I'll probably have a 2 for 10 game and then balance out. You know, that's just the way things work. So, um, never got too discouraged, but frustrated for sure. How odd did it feel to be starting a game with Jamal next to you? Do you think that opened up some looks for you as well early? Um, yeah, I think that's our best kind of offensive lineup we could put out there. Uh, I don't. It wasn't odd because we, you know, we finished games together. And last year when Chris was hurt, uh, you know, that was a, a significant stretch of games for me, as much time as I missed, and, and I got to play a ton with Jamal. So I, I actually really enjoyed playing with him and, and being out there at the same time. Would you like to see Blake give a go when he's not feeling well? Got it out there. He was he was big for us tonight, just to play and be out there and battling. Um, just you know, he's an ultimate competitor. He really is. And um, he knows how much this team needs him, particularly right now, uh, with the way we played this season. And he he, he was there for us, for sure. It was great. Could you tell he wasn't feeling well? Uh, yeah, I didn't know before the game in warmups. I, you know, I was talking to him, and I was like, "Yo, what's, you know, what's wrong?" And he barely could lift his head, so I knew something was wrong. Then he didn't feel well, um, but there was no doubt in my mind that he was going to give it a go and, and, and play well. Did you after the game? Uh, interview on the court, you mentioned that your son was here, right? Yeah, it was his first game today. Could you just kind of articulate for us what that was like? <clears throat> you know, it was, I saw him out here when we were going out for warm-ups, and uh, my wife was back here with Tanisha, and, and uh, you know, got to say hi to everybody. My mom's out here too, and, uh, and then my wife brought him on the court with about 12 minutes to go before the game, and it was one of the most surreal things I've ever experienced in my life. Uh, I actually got emotional during warmups when it happened, and I, I try to figure out, you know, why that would happen. But it's, I could have gone 0 for 30 tonight, and it still would have been one of the top three or four best days of my life uh, to have my son at, at my NBA game. It's it's incredible, um, and I know a ton of guys in the league have kids and all that, but when it's you and it's your kid, man, it's it's the best feeling in the world. How old is he now? Uh, he's almost 11 weeks. He's pretty young, but he acts more like a four or five months old. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been able to figure out? Why you got emotional? What that's all about? I mean, um, I just I, I'm an emotional person to begin with, but God is good, man. God is good. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks. Thank